We're back and tonight's show we have special guests. I would like to thank you so much, my crew member. They are so wonderful. Our director, Darren Lee, uh, Dave Murdoch, Joe Johnston, and Carlos. Thank you so much because without you, I cannot be possible making this television show. Thank you to Raleigh Television Network. Well, tonight's show we have Dr. Larry. I am so excited to have him and I would like to he introduce himself. Welcome to our show. Hey, thank you. I, I really appreciate you having me t this evening. Well, for the benefit of the audience, Dr. Larry, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, your background, where you're from? Uh, originally from the, uh, New York City. Uh, I joined uh, the military when at a very young age, and uh, my mom is from uh, Goldsboro, North Carolina, or from, oh. uh, right outside. Uh, there's a little town called Detley, North Carolina, that she, she grew up in. So. Uh, my my parents decided to you know move back to North Carolina and uh, I traveled the world and I was in the Air Force uh, and you know just a very rewarding uh, experience for me and uh, I was able to you know achieve the highest rank uh, in, in as an enlisted person as an E9 and uh, I, after 22 years I thought it's time to come back home and um, I got five. Uh, I mean, five uh, brothers and sisters, and mm -hmm. I figured it was, it's an opportunity to, to go into business with my brother, and that's what got me started uh, with, with education, because I love education, and I love helping people. Yes, excellent. I met a Dr. Larry a long time ago when he was uh, in the city of Durham providing some uh, training a long time ago, and then we met again at the university, and he is an excellent uh, motivator motivational person mm -hmm. and he inspired you know a lot of people and I would like you to tell us a little bit about what exactly you do. Uh, I, I, what I try to do is to try to encourage people to uh, follow their dreams uh, and, and ask a whole lot of questions uh, and if you continue to ask a lot of questions you're going to get some answers and it's going to take you that much closer to achieving your goal. And uh, what I really appreciate is to, to when you're asking yourself those uh, asking those questions, you have to find out what you can control mm -hmm. and what you cannot control. Mm -hmm. And you'll be amazed at what you can control. And some of the things that you can't control, you ha you just got to go ahead and move forward with that. And uh, through that, uh, through persistence and through in having patience, and then networking with people and finding people that's going to help you and encourage you, because you're going to quickly find out that. Some people uh, that you're close around mm -hmm. might, might, might not encourage you the mm -hmm. way that you need to be encouraged mm -hmm. in order to achieve your goal. That might some, they, sometimes people actually uh, laugh at, you know, hey, you want to do that? Why mm -hmm. do you want to do that? That's mm -hmm. crazy. You're not going to do that. Mm -hmm. But you have to surround yourself, and, and that's what it is. You want to try to find you some people that's going to encourage you mm -hmm. and uh, that's going to allow you to, to, to start achieving your goals. And you've got to have an action plan. You've got to write down what, what is it that you want to do, and okay. you know everybody writes lists, all right, I want to do this, but when are you going to do it, which mm -hmm. is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. And if you do that, and then you have somebody that's going to allow you to, co to coach you mm -hmm. so you can be, uh, stay on task and hit those timelines that you're going to hit, you'll be amazed at how many things that you can achieve. Mm -hmm. And I have to use myself as an example. Uh, okay. I wanted to, uh, you know, at, when I was younger, I, mm -hmm. I was not, that into school. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed, mm -hmm. uh, you know, not, I enjoyed learning, but it just wasn't for me when I was younger. So as I became an adult, I joined the military, and then I started taking classes, and mm -hmm. then I made the decision. I want to get my, my degree. And uh, so I put my mind to it, focused on it, asked questions and find out. And all of a sudden, I was able to get my bachelor's. And right almost, as, almost at the end of my bachelor's, I was like, I want to get my master's degree. I want to get that. So I started on that without even stopping, and then um, I says, "Why not be get your PhD? You know, Dr. Larry Woods. That sounds really good." Yeah, definitely. So my wife, you know, she had to, I, I couldn't have done it without her. You know, she was my That's support awesome. system. You know, I have three kids, and it's just so uh, uh, hard to be able to you know juggle working mm -hmm. as a working adult and then g getting good grades because I wanted to you know. Uh, if I'm going to do it, I want to learn something and be able to uh, do something with it. So about two months ago, I was able to get my PhD, yeah, and uh, congratulations. it's been it's been a journey. Uh, and yeah. uh, so now it just allows me to, when I talk to people now and and they hear, well, you know, you're, 
Dr. Woods, you know, and uh, so now when I go out and, and, and talk to people and, and do consulting work and coach people, it, it, I just feel really good that I'm able to, I did it, so I know you can do it, and let me, let me show you how. You exactly, know. exactly. What would be, um, can you, do you have any testimonials, some, you know, that you can, would like to share with us? Uh, of, of somebody that I've worked with? Yeah, in, you know, in your, in your circle. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I have. Uh, I'll, I'll use my wife for example. Okay. Uh, my wife, uh, you know, she's a, a great woman, very beautiful, and she, she's a mother of my children. She's, you know, she's taking care of us. And uh, then all of a sudden, she wanted, you know, the kids are older, and she wanted to go out, and she wants to, I guess, find herself, get back into work, uh, uh, get back into the workforce. So she she woke up one morning. She said, "I want to be a real estate agent." And I was like, "Okay." So I, what I try to do is to encourage her and you know, support her, and then all of a sudden she's, you know, she's going, and it's hard, you know, because now I got to take up the slack, and she's got to focus her time on that, and then all of a sudden, bam, she gets a real estate agent, and what was really great was after she got it, and you know, this is an accomplishment that she did, and she was discouraged, you know, there was, you know, it wasn't easy. Oh, yeah. uh, not too many people, you know, are able to get through the state yeah. license, yes. and, and so much. Uh, um, work that you have to do. But what was great about it, you know, when she got a license and she starts going out and meeting people, she sold her first house in, in, in less than uh, 22 hours. Oh my God, congratulations. And then the second house, the person that, you know, needed to buy another house, she she was able to sell that house six thousand dollars over her, her listing price and i was like wow yeah so awesome. I, you know that's one of the you know one of the things that i try to do i have another uh small example of somebody that wanted to you know start their own business and they were discouraged because they couldn't find the money or the funding for it and i says well w where are you at and what's your action plan in order to get it and uh you know, they didn't really have a business plan. I'm going like, well, how do you expect, if you don't have a roadmap on where you're going to get? Exactly. So I sat down with them and we talked and, and uh, we wrote up an action plan and then all of a sudden, bam, there it was. She, and she was able to go to a bank and, you know, she got turned down the first time, but then she kept trying and then all of a sudden she was able to, you know, uh, get the money that she needed to start up her business and uh, she's doing really well. And also, what about you? Mm -hmm. You had started, you had been writing your book for how many years now? 18 years. 18 years. And when I first met you, you know, I said, well, what do you want to do, Rosalie? What, what's, what's your goal? She said, I want to get my book published. So what do we do? Yeah. Well, that was amazing because uh, I told him that I'm going to do it after I graduate from my master's degree. And he said, when it will be this? And I said, in a year. And he said, in a year you're going to publish your book when it's already done, you have the illustration. You have in English and Spanish, you have everything already. And I say, yes, but I am trying to focus <laughs> myself in, in my studies. And he said, no, 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 no. T take your pen out and your pad and let's go to do an action plan. And I started to write whatever he was telling me. And my action plan was to publish a book in three months, and I did it before. I did it before the three months. Mm -hmm. And I called him and I said, Dr. Larry, I would like to let you know <laughs> that my book is already in ebook. And it was amazing. I, I would like to tell all of you that I am very, very grateful. And he, in my dedication, I dedicate this book, book to him, one of the greatest person in my life. Because in some time, we need a little push. I have everything. I had everything. 18 years ago, I wrote these stories. It's not one. They are six. And then in total, I eight, but six I almost completed. And I said, and he was telling me, Rosalie, how are you going to wait a year? That is, that is not right. You can do it at, you know, in less time. And I really did it. And I thank you so much because he encouraged me and I did it. And I want to surprise him. And I said, you are definitely a <laughs> motivational person who does marvel things. And in some time in our life, we need one person who push us a little bit. And he only push a little bit, and I ebook, print, a lot of stuff. And it's kind of interesting. You asked 
you asked, started asking questions, right? Exactly. And uh, you said, you had, I remember you texted me, you said, uh, you know, hey, this is the price of getting the book printed. And I'm going, like, well, let me, let me find out. Let me, let me do a little research. And then I was able to come back with you, and you got it at a really, really good price. And, and now, look at this. Look what you've done. Mm -hmm. it, isn't this, this is awesome. Yeah. This is awesome. So, you know, I, I, I have to say, you know, you, you know, you say that I motivated you, but you motivated me because you, you, you were encouraging, mm -hmm. uh, you were helping your supporter, and sometimes you don't take care of yourself, and that's what I told you you had to do. You have to take care of yourself mm -hmm. and, and focus, have that balance, have the support of your family, and then move forward. And, and that's what I try to advocate to people. Follow your dreams. You know, you know I used to work uh, for, um, in, in education mm -hmm. and I would talk to people about going to school. And what's very interesting to me is that they put things off over and over again instead of saying what they want to do, writing it down, coming up with an action plan with a timeline and when they want to try to accomplish mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And then ask, if you don't know how to do something, ask people that do. And, and, and then it will come, it will come. Everything that you need was, is there. And, and yeah. so. And Larry, that, that is amazing, you know, the action plan, when you ask me to write it down, that push you a little more because you have a commitment with yourself. It's not only with you, it's with yourself. That you said, oh my God, I have my action plan and I said that I'm going to publish this book in three months. And I supposed to do this in two weeks, and I supposed to do this in a month, and and then I feel a little pressure. It's not a bad pressure; it's a good pressure because you said I I, I need to do this for myself, because when you do whatever you do, you do it for yourself. And one thing that I really enjoyed, and and we were talking off camera uh, yesterday, and you explained to me the importance to have a business plan. Right. Sometimes, you know, we don't know exactly what venue takes. And then when you started you, your business plan, you have everything stated and you understand exactly what are your segmentation, what are what is this product are going to be distributed, to whom, and you have everything stated out. And I think it's really, really important. It's a, I think it's amazing that uh, by being able to come up with an action plan and then focusing on those timelines, it will provide you what you need uh, with that business plan. It'll allow you to get ahead and achieve all your goals. Because if you go to a bank and you want to borrow money to start a business, the first thing they're going to ask is, you have a business plan? And if you don't have that expertise, there's other people that you can go to that have that expertise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Exactly. Well, Larry, tell us a little bit about other things that you have been doing. <laughs> well, I, I'm an entrepreneur. Um, I started a business with my brother about 10 years ago, and uh, uh, it's called uh, Professional Designs and Imprints, where we actually print T-shirts mm -hmm. and hats, and we do uh, embroidery signs, and uh, also um, uh, any any promotional items that you need in order to promote your business. So I really like that activity of being able to work with a business uh, that that's trying to start up and they need to brand themselves and you know they might need signs. I was working with this one um, one gentleman and he does pressure washing and he does a really good job of it because he did my house. So I was like, all right, let me help you brand yourself. So we came up with some car magnets uh, to put on his vehicle. We came up with some really nice business cards and a brochure. So, and then I told him, you need some yard signs because if you're gonna go out to uh, do a, a somebody's house, you wanna put your yard sign in, the, in there because somebody might not, a, a neighbor, somebody across the street might not wanna come up and say anything to you while you're working. Mm -hmm. But they can see your sign, they have your name, they have your number and you know you'll be amazed so what was interesting that he got, he has those items now and now his businesses went from one level times five wow. and simply simply because of you know branding himself and then having a system I, I told him I says uh, when you doing a house after you're done and you're looking back and you see how great it is and you know he has a homeowner come out and look at show him what he did I says, well, wouldn't it be great if you just had some brochures and, and a business card and go across the street and provide uh, this information and said, you know, hey, I just want to introduce myself. I just did uh, Mr. Smith's house across the street. 
and uh, you know, I might be in the neighborhood next week. Would you, would you be interested in making an appointment so I can come back? So he tried that, and he says, it works. Yeah, it is. So, it um, is. so, so sometimes people do, doesn't have the time, and if you go to the front, you know, yard and uh, or the front door, and you ask me, and I say, oh, by the way, yes, I need that. Exactly. Yeah, it, it's amazing. It's amazing. I think you know the way that you are uh, performing all of this and helping other people to go to the next level. Right. I think it's awesome. And Larry, we, we are almost at the end of this program, mm -hmm. but let me tell you, I would like to tell to the audience, if the church, sometimes the church needs uh, people who encourage to help, to motivate, and this will be a great uh, opportunity that you can have, you know, Larry over there helping, you know, the community, helping right. the church members. Because sometimes, you know, you need like a little sparkling right. in, 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 in the church life and, and you will be a great motivator. And, and, and speaking of that, I have a, another uh, line of Christian apparel that, I've, that we've, we've designed. And um, what it is is Christian themed t-shirts. And w what we actually do is we go with uh, ch churches and nonprofit to, to offer our, our, our designs and they can use it as a fundraiser. And uh, we support, we, we'll, we'll support them with what they need in order to market it and give them some training on how they go ahead and set up the fundraiser. And it, it allows them to go ahead and raise the funds that they need in order to whatever, uh, whatever they need to use those funds for, it allows them to do, the, do so. Wow, Larry, you have a lot of on your plate. <laughs> well, I, I, but I can't do it with, by myself. I have a, a exactly. lot of other people that I help, yes. and, and I just want to thank you. You've been very, uh, very supportive of me, and so you don't know that. You, you know, you always think that I'm helping you, but it's, 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 I it's think a it's shared, a yeah. it's, you know, it's reciprocal, and, you know, yeah. we're able to, uh, to me, you're, you're a shining star, and uh, I want to, I want to be in some of your light, you know, and, uh, <laughs> and so, I'm here to try to encourage people and I want to help people if uh, you know I, I'm a consultant and I'm trying to be a, you know I'm a coach as well and I, I try to help people try to achieve their goals and if you're interested you know uh, reach out to me and I'll be more than happy to you know try to provide uh, some insight on how you can achieve your goals so you can be successful with your life. Excellent, excellent. Well Larry we are uh, at the end of this show I would like you look to the camera and you tell the audience how you get to the next level, how they can see themselves in, in what you have been achieving. Uh, how the, how, wow, that's an interesting question. Uh, this is what they can do. They can go ahead and focus uh, on coming up with uh, an action plan uh, that's going to allow them to actually focus on what they want to do. Because a lot of people say they want to do something, but when they write it down on paper, and they might not, they might figure out very quickly that that's not going to be a possibility. And that's a good thing because you don't waste a whole lot of time, you don't waste a whole lot of energy. So now's an opportunity for you to get ahead and, and focus on an uh, 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 action plan and I'll be more than happy to, to get you started. And it's up to you. If you want to achieve your goals, it's going to be up to you. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. It's a pleasure to have you today here.